all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem valid sudoku its index is 36 and it is a medium type problem of the lead code okay so this problem is like uh, you know uh, like you guys must be aware about the sudoku and uh, like uh, we will be given some numbers and some of the cells will be empty and we need to just uh, validate that these uh, numbers that are present on the sudoku we need to just check it out whether these uh, numbers will lead to a like a sudoku can be solved or not right so we need to just validate that condition okay so like uh, there is a 9 into 9 sudoku board and it is a valid if determine if a 9 into 9 sudoku board is a valid okay All the field cells need to be validated that is the cells that have the value we need to check it out that these values are correct or not according to the following rules rules will be also given to us now each row must contain the digits from 1 to 9 without repetition that is for every row from 1 to 9 uh, every row must contain every digit uh, being occurred exactly one time like some cells are not filled we are not going to consider that okay it can hold any value but the cells which are filled uh, for a particular row all the cells which are filled must be occurred like the digit must be occurring exactly one time and similarly each column must contain the digits 1 to n without repetition and for every 3 into 3 tile that you are going to see over here uh, like a sub box is okay must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition also now uh, sudoku board could be valid but it is not necessary solvable that is the digits that are present over here if you fill out the remaining empty cells with the corresponding values it uh, doesn't mean that this sudoku can be solved because uh, suppose that if a particular row or column May contain the same may contain the same value two times like five and five is occurring exactly two times so this sudoku can't be solved only the field cells need to be validated according to the mentioned rules okay we need to validate that uh, that cells which have the value which have the digit okay not the period i think you can see that board of ig is a digit or a period okay so we need to just uh, check it out the condition so this problem is actually a very simple one so let's directly look over the code i will explain all the things that is being happening over here okay so you can see that submissions are also like 1m i think an accepted solution so yeah submissions 1m accepted is 52 yes that's a lot amount okay so this is the function okay so what we are going to do is like first we need to check it out the every uh, sub box is like 3 into 3 sub boxes so how we are going to check it out that efficiently so what I have done is like pick up every 3 into 3 sub boxes like you can see I have iterated starting from i equal to 0 and less than n i plus equal to 3 that is the first sub box, second sub box, third sub box and so on and similarly j will be incremented by 3 every time so we have total like 9 sub boxes right so we will check it out every sub box and we will call the valid function if it is not valid then we are going to return false denoting that the sudoku can't be solved now in this valid function let's try to understand that what I have done is like uh, pick up every uh, like uh, cell which is holding the digit okay and we are going to track the digit with using unordered set okay this uh, is going to do the operation in O one time okay so you are going to just check it out that uh, if uh, the particular character of any particular cell is not a period means that it is a digit and this character has already occurred then you are going to say yes return false because the uh, if a particular sub box contain a particular digit uh, more than one time this is not possible and the sudoku can't be solved in that case return false otherwise insert that into a like uh, an ordered set and just do the operations if all the operation goes on well return true denoting that the values that are present in this sub box are valid okay now uh, like this is for every sub box there are nine sub boxes now we need to check it out that every row must contain the digits one to nine and every column must contain the digits one to nine okay so what we are going to do we are going to iterate for every row like you can see i zero up to i less than nine and i plus plus that is we are picking every row and checking in, uh, it out the elements that are present in this row is going to like for every digit that is occurring in this row have the frequency more than one or not and the same thing that we are going to use is like on order set you can see it is a temporary set that i am going to every time i am going to use a clear like for every row we need to maintain a new set that's why so i am going to track it out the characters if it has already occurred 
that is a row contain more than one character of same like more than one same digit then you are going to return false okay otherwise insert that into set and like whenever this condition passes it means that a digit has the frequency more than one in this current row return false sudoku can't be solved and similar to the case i have done in for the column one okay and uh, finally return true if all those conditions like any of the conditions that fails like this condition passes then we are going to return false it means that sudoku can't be solved and if all goes well then finally return true denoting that sudoku can't be like sudoku can be solved okay so this is the thing that uh, we you need to understand so you can see that the code is accepted one so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video